Okay, we retain our integral on the board. We've got the integral from one to infinity of one over e to the x minus two dx. Okay, this one should go pretty quick. The interesting thing was just kind of looking at the graph, the bounds are pretty important here because if this lower bound, if this was actually going from zero to infinity, the integral would diverge because if you plug a zero in here, it would be easier to see if this was one because if you had e to the zero, one minus one, you'd be dividing by zero. And look at the graph, you can see it kind of goes off to infinity. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is just kind of treat this for now like the indefinite integral. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is, if I can multiply in here by, multiply by one, e to the minus x over e to the minus x, what's gonna happen is when we multiply this in, that's gonna give me something in the numerator in order to do a u substitution. So when we do this, multiplying this all together, we just have e minus x dx in the numerator. Here, e minus x times e to the x just gives me a one. And then the other term's gonna be minus two e minus x. What? <laughs> so then from here, let's just go ahead and do a u substitution for the whole denominator. So we'll say u equals 1 minus 2 e minus x. Take a derivative. Derivative of 1, 0. Derivative here, we have e minus x. A minus sign comes out times this minus 2. We're just going to have a plus 2 in front dx. Then in order to make this numerator exactly what we have for the du, Let's just multiply in a two there, and I'll multiply by one half in front to make it work. So go ahead with this. First, what's gonna happen when we plug in infinity? When x is going to infinity, this term here is going to zero. This whole thing is going to zero, so we're just left with one for the upper bound. Then evaluating at one, e to the minus one is like one over e times two, so we're gonna end up here with one minus two over e. Then updating everything else, we just end up with du over u. Go ahead and integrate this. We have this one half out front. This becomes natural log absolute value of u. And this is gonna be evaluated from one minus two over e to one. Now I think we can drop the absolute value here just because this value right here, I know that one over e is something like 0 0.367, I don't know. So two over e is gonna be 2 over e is going to be something like 0.73-ish. So if we're going from like 0.73 to 1, it's always positive. We can just drop this absolute value right here. Then we'll just go ahead and evaluate. So first plugging in 1, I'll bring the 1 half up front. So then we're going to have for this first piece, natural log of 1. But that's just 0, so that's going away. And then for the second part, we're going to have natural log 1 minus 2 over e. And let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. So like distributing in the 1 half, we'll have minus 1 half. I can get a common denominator here in the natural log. If I take this one and I write this as e over e, then putting it together with the common denominator, we'll have e minus two over e. But then here, because we're dividing inside the natural log, I can use log properties on this. We'll still have this minus one half up front, and then splitting this up, I can write this as natural log e minus two minus natural log of e. But natural log of e is just one. Cancel that out, make that a one. Let's distribute in the minus sign just to change, swap the sign around. So this becomes a plus, this becomes a minus. And then so for my final solution, this we're just gonna have one minus natural log e minus two all over two, and that's it. I think this pen's done, I don't know. Okay, there you have it, quick integral. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.